I, Ahne Sabarwal of Class 10E, St. Stephen School, Chandigarh, would like to present the PowerPoint presentation prepared by me as a part of my environmental applications project work on the topic of air pollution. Now, what is pollution? The term pollution refers to any change in the natural quality of the environment which is brought about by chemical, physical or biological factors. There are basically five types of pollution namely noise pollution, soil pollution, radioactive pollution, air pollution and water pollution. Now the question is what is air pollution? Air pollution is the excessive concentration of foreign matter in the air which adversely affects the well-being of human beings, animals, plants and their environment. It is present in the troposphere layer of the atmosphere and it contaminates the air. There are different types of air pollutants which can be classified according to origin, states of matter and sources. According to origin they can be classified into primary pollutants. The pollutants that are emitted from their sources and are found in the atmosphere in the same form in which they are emitted are known as primary pollutants. For example, ash, smoke, dust, radioactive compounds and oxides of sulfur and nitrogen. Then it is secondary pollutants. The pollutants that are formed in the atmosphere by the chemical interaction between the primary pollutants and the atmospheric constituents are known as secondary pollutants. Examples are sulfur trioxide, ozone, peroxyacetylate nitrate which is also known as PAN. According to states of matter, gaseous air pollutants, these pollutants exist in gaseous state at normal temperature and pressure, for example carbon dioxide, oxides of sulfur and oxides of nitrogen. Then it is particulate air pollutants. These pollutants are not gaseous substances but these are suspended droplets, solid particles or mixture of both, which includes dust, fume, smoke, soot and fly ash. According to sources, there can be natural sources which include volcanic eruptions, deflation of sand, dust, forest fires or burning of the natural vegetation. And then man-made sources. These include the human activities which are related with industries, urban centers, aircraft, nuclear experiment, automobiles, agriculture and power plants. The sources of outdoor pollution are power plants, construction and road dust, emission from automobiles, biomass burning, industries and factories, open waste burning, transportation and brick mills. The effects of air pollution on environment are increased in global warming, floods in the coastal region, droughts in some areas and due to drought soil will become dry leading to soil erosion, smoke formation and ozone depletion. Effects of air pollution on human health can be classified into two categories short-term effects and long-term effects. Short-term effects are irritation in eyes, nose and throat, respiratory infections such as bronchitis and pneumonia, headaches, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, allergic reactions and slurring of speech. Long-term effects are chronic respiratory diseases, lung cancer, cardiovascular diseases, coma and damage to nerves, brain, liver and kidney. Effects of air pollution on the plants are Sulfur dioxide bleaches the surface of the leaves which cause loss of chlorophyll and results in yellowing of the leaves 
especially in green leafy vegetables. Nitrogen dioxide result in the premature falling of leaves and suppressed growth of plant. This leads to reduced yield of crops. And ozone damages the leaves of the plant, whereas pyroxyacetate nitrate (PAN) damages leafy vegetables and cause premature falling, discoloration, and curling of sepals. Effects of air pollution on animal life is formation of acid rain in the air damages fish life in the lakes and stream, rays from the ozone with excessive concentration of ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun cause skin cancer in animals, rays from ozone layer in the low atmosphere may destroy the lung tissues of the animals and the toxic chemicals can force the wildlife species to migrate to nearby places and change their habitat. How can we reduce the air pollution coming from a particular sources? The air pollution from automobiles can be reduced by carpooling and using public transportation. Air pollution from burning waste can be reduced by managing waste and making your home zero waste generator. Air pollution by industries can be controlled using the different control devices and air conditional air pollution can be controlled by using it less and switching it off and using fan instead of air conditioners. Some more solutions are no to plastic bags, reduction of forest fires and smoking, use of fans instead of air conditioners, use filters for chimneys, furthermore avoid usage of crackers, riding a cycle or walking instead of driving a car or in any vehicle buying fewer things manufactured using fossil fuels, adding insulation to your home, look for energy star appliances and try using the 3 hours method which means reuse, reduce and recycle. Some more solutions are choose products that use recycled materials, paint using a brush instead of using sprayers, Plant a tree because tree filters the air and provides shade that can reduce the cooling cost. Print on both sides of the uh, papers. We should give 100% contribution from our side to prevent the air pollution. Some more 6 ways to reduce air pollution that we can include in our daily lives are Leave your car at home. Why not take a bus, get on the train, ride your bike or walk towards your destination. And did you know car drivers are exposed to two times as much air pollution as pedestrians and nine times more pollution than cyclists. Give your car a break. Why not work from home occasionally, make a video call rather than driving to a meeting and join a car share scheme. Avoid unnecessary exposures. Why not avoid busy roads and take the side street, receive air pollution forecast through air alerts. And did you know walking or cycling down to the quiet side street can lower your exposure to air pollution by 20%. Drive efficiently. Why not keep our tires inflated, service your vehicles regularly and turn off the engine when you are not moving. And whenever you upgrade your car, go towards electric vehicles. Use less polluting products. Why not buy low VOC paint and varnish, avoid using air fresheners and open windows while using the cleaning products. Burn less wood. Why not save your wood burning stuff for when you need it and avoid bonfires by joining different garden waste schemes. Moving on to the case study, air pollution in Delhi. 
and now i think that delhi should be better known as the pollution capital of india a pollution in india is estimated to kill about 2 million people every year it's the fifth largest killer in india india has the world's highest death rate from chronic respiratory diseases and asthma according to who Air quality in Delhi, the capital territory of India, according to WHO survey of 1,650 world cities, is the worst of any major city in the world. It also affects the districts around Delhi. In Delhi, poor air quality irreversibly damages the lungs of 2.2 million or 50% of all children. On November 25, 2019, the Supreme Court of India said that. Delhi has become worse than Narak. Air quality index of Delhi is generally moderate 101 to 200 level between January to September and then it drastically decreases to very poor 301 to 400 severe 401 to 500 or hazardous 500 plus levels during October to December due to various factors including stubble burning road dust vehicular pollution and cold weather In November 2017 in an even known as the great smoke of Delhi the air pollution spiked far beyond the acceptable levels levels of PM 2.5 and PM 10 per tonic matter hit 999 micrograms per cubic meter while the safe limits for those pollutants are 60 and 100 respectively The main sources of air pollution in Delhi includes vehicular exhaust in which cars are actually the main culprit as Delhi has more fuel fillers than any other city in the country a 2015 study by the Indian Institution of Technology Kanpur says vehicles are the second largest source of pm 2.5 emission in the city accounting for 20% The largest source at 38% is the road dust which is mostly generated by vehicular movements. Delhi has 8.8 million registered vehicles which includes 2.8 million cars and their number increases by around 1560 every day. Next, heavy industries such as power generation small scale industries like brick mills suspended dust on the road due to the constructional activities open waste burning combustion of fuels for cooking and in situ power generation via diesel generator sets compounding the problem are the forest fires seasonal dust storms and stubble burning during the harvest season a report predicts that delhi will be the most polluted and the deadliest city if the pollution will keep rising like the present as delhi is still one of the top polluted cities of the world The effects of air pollution in Delhi are breathlessness, chest constriction, irritation in eyes, asthma and allergy. A healthy baby girl born in Delhi's Indraprasth Apollo Hospital on October 29 kept in hospital for 2 days because of Diwali. However, on October 31 The baby developed breathing trouble and had to be moved to ICU and the doctor said that the baby had perfectly developed lungs when she was born but now she is likely to suffer from bronchitis for life and the reason was high level of pm 2.5 on november 5 and 6 which reached 837 micrograms per meter cube and the safety limit is just 60 micrograms per meter cube Now let us see a video 
on a report of 2019 of Delhi air pollution made by India Today, which tells whether Japanese technology will be used in Delhi to fight air pollution. The suffering and the fight between the Haryana government, Delhi government, and Punjab government is the common man who is residing in the national capital. The reason is, we have seen how political pot shots were taken by Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. He kept on saying that Haryana and Punjab governments are not responding to this plea to make sure that farmers do not burn their crops. In fact, we also saw how the centre said that it, there is a sign it's level best, but the pollution levels are not coming down. Unfortunately, the sufferer in all this political drama is the common man. जब हम लोग सांसें लेते हैं, तो ऐसा फील होता है कि जैसे फोर्टफुल ब्रीडिंग कर रहे हों। Normally आंखें जलती हैं, परेशानी बहुत है। What you see on me has become the reality of most of the people who stay in the Delhi NCR region. In fact, the condition is so bad that you will not be able to see the Grand Buddha Park right behind me. It's covered in smog, it's covered in pollution. Now, the Supreme Court taking so much a cognizance of the severity of what's happening in the Delhi NCR region has now asked the centre to give them a report by the 3rd of December on how they can use hydrogen fuel-based technology. Now, this is the same technology which is being used in Japan to curb pollution. The centre also said that this is a way through which they believe that the pollution levels in the Delhi NCR region can be curbed. The centre will have to do their own study and submit a detailed report on how they can use hydrogen fuel-based technology which then converts carbon dioxide into water and submit the report by 3rd of December. In fact, the situation is so severe that schools have been shut down Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal, is saying that he can also go ahead and extend the order even scheme. But despite all these measures, the fact remains that most of the people that you will see in the Delhi and Sia region, be it very small kids, be it elderly people, all of them are now resorting to wearing these masks because the quality has deteriorated. In fact, in, for the past few days, we have seen how the, the category is 500 plus, which means that this air at the moment is hazardous. Let me also tell you what 500 plus API means. It basically means that there are such tiny particles, such fine particles in the air that they go and settle in one slump. And believe me, it's not possible for anyone to flush these particles out. This is what doctors and experts for the past many years have been saying. If these particles enter your lungs, they will stay there and they will do a repairable damage. Doctors at the moment are also saying that if possible, make sure that you do not step out of your houses, especially for very young children and for the elderly. They are also advising against going out for morning walks and evening walks. Now it remains to be seen that the detailed report which the Supreme Court has asked, when will the centre submit it? The deadline for them to submit it is 3rd of December. Now let us move to a report by BISPO 2016 on Delhi's control over air pollution. Delhi's air, why the problem refuses to go away? 2015, Supreme Court, New Delhi. We want justice. We want justice. It's true. Three infants in Delhi put a case against the Indian government. Our lungs are not fully developed and cannot take any more pollution. Under Article 21 of the Constitution of India, we have a right to clean air. Post Diwali this year, the AQI, that's the Air Quality Index in Delhi, was 497. 0 to 50, good. 51 to 100, satisfactory. Sensitive people might be affected. 101 to 200, moderately polluted. People with asthma and older adults and children may have a problem. 201 to 300, poor can cause discomfort even in healthy people. 301 to 400, very poor. People with heart and lung diseases will have a lot of problem and even healthy people will be affected with prolonged exposure. 401 to 500, severe. Even small physical activity in healthy people can cause discomfort. Serious long-term impact on lungs. Children are being told to stay indoors. School is shut today, go home and stay inside. A study among school-going children in Delhi showed that half of them are growing up with lung damage that cannot be repaired. 
A 2015 New York Times article on Delhi's air pollution by Gardner Harris shocked the world and now many foreigners refuse to stay on in India's capital city. I left Delhi to go back to the US as my son kept getting asthma attacks, each attack being worse than the other. We were worried for his life. The International Energy Agency IEA says that 160 lakh Indians will die before they have to because of air pollution. Scott Kelly who returned from space last month from the sky you could never see China or India because there was a permanent haze of smog over the two countries the biggest culprit for poor air quality is the burning of agricultural waste by farmers images given by nasa show numerous farm based fires in punjab and haryana and even in pakistan so whichever way the wind blows delhi gets affected Burning of waste is illegal in Punjab but farmers do it anyway. Where do I dump all this waste? The ash from burning will act as fertilizer for my crop. The Punjab police have arrested many farmers but they still don't stop. We educate farmers through radio, television and hoardings and even give them machines to dig out old crop remains. Another reason are diesel trucks, especially old trucks which cross Delhi on the way to other states. That has now been stopped. Last year Delhi chief minister Arvind Kejriwal even banned the sale of new diesel cars for 3 months and instead cars ending with odd numbers can only be driven on Monday Wednesday Friday and even numbered cars can be driven on Tuesday Thursday Saturday but the problem refuses to go away this year he is suggesting we should try make it rain this is possible but expensive we should also start vacuum cleaning of streets Surprisingly use of dung and kerosene for cooking is a major contributor to air pollution but as more villages start getting electricity this factor will reduce the two coal powered plants of badarpur and rajghat also make matters worse construction and demolition activity has been stopped concrete dust is adding to the air pollution sometimes you can see the dirt in the air these are large particles 10 plus ppm that is parts per million I wear a mask to filter it out. Really dangerous ones are the small particles, 2.5 ppm, where masks don't help and they go straight to your lungs. And that is the real challenge before Chandni Chok becomes Chandni Chok. Now let us see some more methods tried by Delhi government and the people to prevent air pollution. The first is red light on, carry off campaign. A volunteer holds up play cards requesting computers to participate in the campaign launched by Delhi government and tackle the air pollution effectively. Diesel generators ban. Already the Environmental Pollution Prevention and Control Authority directed the government of Delhi, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh to ban the use of diesel generators. except for essential and emergency services in the national capital and the neighboring cities of Ghaziabad Noida Greater Noida Faridabad and Gurugram Pusa decomposer scientists at the Indian Agricultural Research Institution Pusa have found a low cost simple and effective way to deal with the problem of stubble burning the solution When sprayed in the fields can decompose crop residue and turn them into manure according to Delhi chief minister Arvind Kejriwal however the government needs farmer consent to spray the solution in their fields ban on construction on carts as of now authorities have not banned in Delhi NCR region however authorities have made it clear that measures such as ban on constructional activities industries using non png fuels and closure of thermal power plants will kick in when the air quality in the region hits emergency levels smoke guns as a part of its air pollution monitoring plan the delhi government have also installed anti smoke guns at large construction sites in the national capital region to control pollution 
Reportedly, smoke guns have already been placed at 10 construction sites in Delhi. Now, let us look into the latest law made in Delhi to prevent air pollution. According to the report by PTI, faced with rising air pollution in Delhi NCR, the centre has introduced a new law through an ordinance that put forwards in a place a powerful oversight body and provides up to 5 years of jail term and rupees 1 crore fine for the violators of air pollution control law. Under the ordinance released by the Ministry of Law and Justice on October 29, 2020, the Environmental Pollution Prevention and Control Authority EPCA, has been dissolved and replaced by a com commission comprising over 20 members. The commission may take up all the matters on the basis of complaint, the ordinance said adding that any appeal against any direction of the panel shall lie only with the National Green Tribunal. Now let us see the effect of lockdown during COVID-19 pandemic on the air quality of Delhi. PM10 and PM2.5 concentration reduced about half in compared to the pre-lockdown. NO2 and CO have also shown considerably de decline during lockdown. In the transportation and industrial location, air quality have improved close to 60%. Central and Eastern Delhi have also experienced the maximum improvement in the air quality. On the second and the fourth day of lockdown last year, about 40-50% to 50 improvement in the air quality was seen. Now let us see a video showing the, how the smoke clears from Delhi during the lockdown last year. It's definitely been the best uh, air that we have ever had in uh, several years, if not in history. Uh, in the peak of the winter season, the particulate matter PM 2.5, those levels can go up as high as 700, 800, 900, even 1000. Uh, but uh, only a few weeks ago, the PM 2.5 levels were as low as 7. So the one thing that this uh, proves is that air pollution is ultimately a human problem. Like We have created it. And uh, when human economic activities stop, uh, naturally air qualities improve, but they, the extent to which they have improved, I think has come as a surprise to everyone. There is different aspects of human economic activity that contribute to the problem. And now in this lockdown period, obviously most of it is shut. Only the essential services are running and essential services do not 
include heavy manufacturing do not include uh, you know trans like public transport uh, for example so for all these reasons uh, naturally pollutant levels have just dropped now let me show you the chart that i have made on the topic of air pollution and let us also look into the model that i have prepared on the preventive measures of air pollution At the end, I would just like to say that we all should take our actions and we should stop them if we think that any of the action is contributing to air pollution. And we should try all the measures that we can do to prevent air pollution. Thank you.